it is time. <coughs> it is time. It is time for a pizza. Nicht, nicht. Well, it says pizza right here, and I've never fucking seen this, so... Let's see what happens, shall we? Nicht, nicht. Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some cooking simulator today. They were kind enough to give me... I remember playing... Game Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...a key for their latest <laughs> pizza update. And if there's one thing I love, it's cooking food in a very sane and normal way. Here we are in our brand new pizzeria. As you can see, we have a lovely view of the outdoors. And by that, I mean everything's in throwing range. Anyway, let's take a look around. This is our pizza making station. All of our ingredients are gonna go there, but we haven't prepped anything yet. And of course, pizza's bake in here. Meanwhile, we have this other room where we prep ingredients, which is why we have so many wild pieces of machinery like an automatic cutter, an electric grater, a food processor, and my personal favorite, the dough mixer. Oh, but okay. we're not done there. We have a dungeon. Or I guess normal people call it a cellar. We got all the normal stuff you put on pizza, like bananas and... You fucking mup muppet. Okay, for people who do not know... For people who don't know... I work in the kitchen for two years. One year as a kitchen porter. As in, I clean the whole kit kitchen. And trust me, I do get lazy sometimes. I get... You know, <laughs> but I clean the whole kit kit kitchen. And then after that, I got... Promoted, kinda. Where I become an assistant chef. But what I mean by assistant, as in I prep stuff, I cut stuff, I do salads, I do sandwich, I do the basic things. But... The, but the chef sees that I have passion for food, which I do. And my head chef decides to, you know, like, hey, do you want to learn how to, how to cook? All right, I can teach you how to cook. So I learn how to cook a lot of things. Okay. I'm not perfect. I make lots of mistakes. I'm doing experiments. I know how to cook a lot of things. Not everything, but a lot of things. Mostly Asian stuff. Mostly Asian stuff because of the, because of the buffet I used to work was an Asian stuff, and I also do some Western stuff like Italians, British food. Even though I fucking hate British food, but let's let, let's not get into it. And a lot more things. Now, one thing I can say: what this guy just said, you do not put banana on pizza. No. I don't care if it's a dessert. I don't care if it's an option. You do not put banana on pizza. Banana dessert pizza is a thing to some people. I know it's disgusting. Me no likey. Banana on pizza is a new bean beam. I don't fucking get it. Banana on pizza is heresy, especially pineapple. The thing is, I actually don't mind Hawaiian pizza if there is no option. If there's another option, and a good option, like let's say pepperoni pizza, or meat lovers, or even a vegetarian pizza, I would rather eat my least favorite, which is a vegetarian pizza, or even seafood pizza. I'd rather eat seafood pizza than pineapple on pizza. I'd, I'd rather eat seafood pe 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 pizza. And honestly, seafood pizzas are really fucking nice. They're not my favorite. They're a bit weird, but it's a good kind of weird. Although I'm a very simple person, my favorite pizza are meat love lovers. And, even more basic, pepperoni. Salami is also good too, like salami pizza, pepperoni pizza, meat lovers. I'm a very basic person. I'm a very basic person. When it comes to pizza specifically, I'm a very basic person. However, banana on pizza, if anybody puts banana on pizza, I get angry. But I have to say, banana is not the worst thing I hate. There's one thing I hate more than pineapple and banana or kiwi or whatever the fuck you put in there is all olives. 
Black olives. Do not ever put fucking black olives in your fucking pizza. You piss me off. Do not ever fucking do it. Not in front of me. You eat that in front of me? <laughs> I will get so angry. <laughs> black olives on pizza is a the true heresy. It's disgusting. As your stew chefs, I approve of no olive. Thank you. Orlean, my fellow chef. Thank you. Wait, what's wrong with black olives? There's nothing wrong with it. Just not on pizza. I love black olives. Just not on pizza. Just not on pizza. At all. Just don't. Just fucking don't. Eggplant and sweet corn. Not to mention all these weird ingredients no one ever uses, like onions and garlic and eight bajillion kinds of delicious meats. And of course, we can't forget cheese. We got your parm. Wait, did someone say something? You racist quiz? How the fuck does that make me race racist? Huh? I mean, I don't understand. I'm just saying, don't put black olives on pizza. Where does, where does racist come from? What the fuck? Parmesan, your pecorino, whatever the hell this is. Oh, and I almost forgot about this cooler here, where we definitely don't keep bodies. Oh, we don't keep bodies. Well, color me surprised. All the greats are here. Shrimp, squid, fried egg. Well, now that I'm sure we- Fried eggs? You mean frozen eggs? <laughs> Y'all have a hankering for pizza. Let's go ahead and take our first order and make some dreams come true. Buffalo. Frozen eggs. <laughs> Fried eggs, frozen eggs. In uh, Neapolitan style dough, marinara sauce, buffalo mozzarella. Seems easy enough. First things first is we gotta make the dough. Thankfully, the game is kind enough to show us exactly how to. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry to keep stopping. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I've actually seen like um, this in Food Wars. I gave it a try back in Finland when I used to live in Finland. I actually gave it a try. It actually works. It's actually quite quite fucking nice. Soft boiled eggs tempura. It actually works. You have to freeze the eggs. And then after that you fry it. But then when you fry it, like the eggs are gonna be cooked, but the egg yolk is going to be runny and soft. It's like a soft boiled eggs tempura. It's just you have to freeze the eggs. And you have to use normal eggs. You cannot use like well, from what the anime says, and anyways, and I'll take their word for it, you cannot use, like, high-quality eggs. Because if you use high-quality eggs, the eggs are going to become too rich when you freeze it. That's why you use, like, the normal eggs. Because when you freeze the eggs, it becomes more rich, apparently. I haven't tried it with, like, high-quality eggs, so I'm uncertain. But that's what the anime said in Food Wars. However... When I tried the normal, just normal free-range eggs, just normal free-range eggs, and I put it in the freezer and I tried tempura with it, it actually works. It's so cool. It actually works. It's actually quite nice. It's quite fucking nice. Gonna go hang out with my friends. So after working Domino's Pizza, I can never eat their pizza again. They reuse some of their toppings that fall into the tray below their make a pizza. Apparently, cross contamination is not concerned there. Yeah, I understand that. I, I understand that. Eggs are eggs. Math is math. Why do people gotta change things? It, it, it's anime. They try to make it as like complicated as possible, but in actuality. Some people don't realize that simplicity is very good. It, 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 it goes, simplicity and basic goes a long way. It goes a long way. Explain high quality eggs, please. The richness, the breed of the chicken or whatever. It's fucking weird. I, I, I don't know. For me, egg, eggs are eggs. But high quality eggs, apparently to other people, it's about like fucking some kind of breed of chicken. It, it's fucking, I, I I, I don't know. I don't know. Giga chat chickens. There you go. <laughs> to make the dough, we begin with the finest mill double zero flour, or as I like to call it, double O flour. License to mill. If I'll be honest, the only thing I like from Domino's Pizza is probably the stuffed crust. I mean, of course, other places do stuffed crust as well, but stuffed crusts are quite, quite nice. But uh, I would say another thing that I, I well, what I like the most about Dominoes 
The only thing I like about Domino's is the chicken. Like the barbecue chicken or the um, spicy chicken. Or just a normal chicken. They actually taste quite nice. The chicken tastes quite fucking nice. Sure, it's small, but it's quite nice. And chicken has a fuck ton of protein, so it'll make you full. Okay, now it's time to add some water. Well, I mean, the sink Stuff is here, is and I can yep. definitely turn this on and waste water at a catastrophic rate. I think I saw something in here we can use for water. Ah, uh, yes, this festive jug. Wait, can I really put water in this? In the past tense, I mean. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's go to our magical box here, which allows us to buy all kinds of fancy things. And I'm just going to substitute water with olive oil. Gives it a nice gold color. Now it's time to add some salt. Where do I keep that? Do I keep it down yeah. here? Well, anchovies are kind of salty, right? I'm sure this will do just fine. Oh my god, it pours so aggressively, too. Okay, it's time. What a beautiful golden yellow color. Oh, and this is how you know it's done. Uh what the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? Ah, uh, it's a blob. Good enough for me. Let's make some pizza out of it. First, we need to use this rolling pin and... Huh? You mean I can't just use mystery dough? All right, hold on. We gotta test this. Stupid Neapolitan dough needing correct ratios and water and stuff. Oh, so that's what dough is supposed to look like as it lands all over the dirty floor. Oh, oh my fucking god. Dude, those that that dough has a uh, fucking anchovies. What am I watching? This is pain. Oh my god, it's like a real pizza. The next step is we need to make marinara sauce. I'm not even gonna look at the ingredients. I got this. Tomatoes, tons of garlic. Bring it to the food processor and watch it get siphoned in magically. Oh, can't forget a couple herbs. <laughs> okay, yep, there we go. Yep, everybody in. Don't be shy. Those are the noises I like to hear when it's grinding up my sauce. Mmm, just like marinara is supposed to look. One last thing to prep and we're good to go, which includes making little trays of cut buffalo mozzarella and- I'm in pain. I'm in fucking pain. And cut cherry tomatoes. Basket, dungeon, a conservative- I don't care if it's not real, Chris. I told you yesterday that your inner chef would not- Are you sh- 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 I know what I got myself in- in- into number of cherry tomatoes and buffalo mozzarella nothing but net okay things go in here and they huh? get mulched ta-da sumptuous how about using a knife toppings let's make this pizza oh boy here we go let's put it right down oh i see you know maybe i can just oh <laughs> oh no mm, so tasty all right if we do this it looks a little more pizza like but no why does it look so jelly? Why does it look like somebody just... Why does it look like God projectile vomit on that pizza? It, it, it looks like the God of pizza projectile vomit. Like seriously, it's just... No one wants that, so instead we're gonna have this sad face. Now it's time to add our buffalo mozzarella. Now when it comes to cheese, you want to do it a little bit sparingly. You don't want to make it too rich, but you no! also want to make sure people no! get what they paid for. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> okay. Because no one wants to feel taken advantage of at a restaurant. <laughs> there, see, that's what I'm... <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? And now some tomatoes. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, let's get this in the oven. In you go. And while we wait for that thing to bake, we have a sponsor for this video. So let's open up our phone and check out who it is. Well, how about that? It's Forsaken World, Gods and Demons. This is a casual RPG for Ant- Alright! Let's watch this ad. I never thought I'd say this, but this ad is actually making me feel pretty calm right now. Android and iOS with an emphasis on autoplay, which pretty much means you can play what? the game one of two ways. The good old fashioned way of moving your character around, taking quests and beating stuff up, or you can tell and the game to do cake. all of that for you Ooh. and it'll do it with such Yeesh. laser precision you'll think you were watching a speed <laughs> run. Face. My favorite part is when these NPCs are trying to talk to you and you're already gone. The village behind me is 
Sorry, suckers. I don't have time for your lore. Oh, but one place you're not going to want to autoplay your way through is the character creator. With its customization, you can make something beautiful, or you can take all these sliders, move them all the way to the farthest extremes, and that's how you have a brow ridge that covers your eyes and a very pouty lower lip. If this doesn't scream Forsaken World is calling you, I don't know what does. And if you scan this code when you're making your character, you can look just like him, and I guarantee you, every cutscene in this entire game is... Hey, that's a hand that's the most handsome character I've ever seen. It's made better by this face. And don't forget to customize your outfit. Oh, and you're not the only looker in this game. Ever since they reached open beta, the game has seen improved visuals. Like, check this out. Even your starting mount has... He's got abs for days! Has abs. And there's other, shall we say, more exotic mounts that you can also unlock. And if that weren't <laughs> enough, there's also pets who you can custom name. Mmm, mm, cat. cat. And bless their hearts, they try to help even when I'm trying to abandon them. Which is gonna happen once I ditch them for a new pet. There's also daily <laughs> events, challenges, and limited time stuff, totaling 37 events to play with, as well as guild events that let you hop in, declare wars with others, and the game's official Facebook will also post about guild war events. The game also features new and improved voice acting, and the devs are adding genders to each class by the end of the year, and you can also customize your character's skill tree at will. So if you like what you see and you want to try it for yourself, the link you need is in the description. There's also a code you can use right here to redeem a whole bunch of free goodies, and you can also check out their Facebook page to learn more. Thanks again for the sponsorship, and might I heavily suggest <laughs> using this dude's face. Anyway, where were we? Oh, I know where we were. The pizza's just about done. So let's pick up the thingamabob, aggressively scrape it out of there. Mm. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What am I even watching? This bread of this fucking pizza just ignores physics. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Levitating tomatoes on a nice billowy blanket. That's an anti matter yeah. of molten cheese with a sumptuous homemade sauce underneath. Well, before we send it out. I'm gonna come. Okay, now I want pizza. Now I actually want pizza. Not because of this, because I talk about pizza. Now I want pizza. We can't forget one vital ingredient, the basil leaf. So we'll just put one there, and there, and then a nice line across. Now I realize it's gonna be hard for the customer to see this face though, when they're busy being wowed by all this. <laughs> now it's time to plate. It's a big pizza, so we're gonna use a big plate. Oh yeah, the cornerstone <laughs> of cooking simulator. Needing to give ample clearance for the most fragile plates on the planet. Okay, go ahead and put that- No! Everyone behave themselves. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Piping hot and ready to eat. It only took 53 minutes for it to come out. <laughs> Bye! Have fun going into outer space. Ah, let's see what they thought about it. You know, I see stars at all, so I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. Let's see, the dough? Different size than ordinary. Oh, I'm sorry, was the pizza too plentiful for you? <laughs> what? You didn't want my homemade green sauce? Aw, oh, see, here's someone of discerning taste. All check marks for the cheese. Overall, that went shockingly well, which means we're gonna have to redouble our efforts. Make something truly terrible. <laughs> Beef house? What the hell kind of pizza is that? Okay, here we go. Sourdough pizza dough, Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, ground beef, and red... Grated blue cheese. Okay. I know there is a lot of people, especially people in Finland, from what I know, they love blue cheese on their pizza. I personally don't like it. I personally don't like it. I prefer the mozzarella cheese or, you know, anything that's not blue, blue cheese. I don't understand blue cheese. I, I personally don't. I mean, if others like it, it's absolutely fine. It's just not for me. It's not for me. Red onion. <laughs> okay, listen, when I think beef house, I don't think one kind of meat. So let's tweak this order a little bit. Give the people not what they asked for, but what we've decided they want. See, this feels so much more appropriate, doesn't it, for a meat mountain or whatever it's called? I mean, we got all the greats, like meat and some meat and then more meat. Wait, can I just <laughs> put some of this stuff in here? Wait, what's it gonna pull in? Oh, just all the meats? <laughs> oh, boy. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious meat. Meat sauce? Oh no!
Eat paste. See, now we're getting somewhere. All meats, no vegetables, no spices. Also, this thing calls for sourdough pizza dough. Ugh. Bread flour. Sourdough starter. That's way different than my existing floor dough. You know what, actually? It looks like you can only make four different types of dough. Can I just make these in bulk like a real restaurant would? Only one way to find out, and that's to triple the recipe and see what happens. Let's see, if it needs two liters normally, that's six liters we're gonna give it. And yes, it turns out this jug totally works. And now for some salt and sourdough starter and olive oil here it comes fresh packed on the floor again this guy is fucking <laughs> delicious floor bread and hey look at that it's actually sourdough and boy it just keeps on coming doesn't it well that was a rousing success well on the floor the floor. Now that we're on a roll, <coughs> let's mix all the others. Okay, that's a little more like it. Enough pizza dough for a lifetime. And then some. <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you just saying hi to me, dough monster? So now that our dough situation is fixed. It's a game. I know. I know it's a game, but it triggers the chef in me. Okay. The last thing we need to do is grab some gorgonzola, as requested by the customer. <laughs> ah, the finest cheese. Okay, we'll just put that next to our meat sauce, and then just keep sifting through the pile until I find some sourdough. Ah, there we go. Come with me. It's time to make a beef house. So, of course, we're going to have to start with our exquisite sauce. Oh, my God. Make sure to get it nice and spread <laughs> evenly. Let's give it a nice big mmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the meat toppings. I can just shove this thing in here, right? Sure can. Okay, that's one dip. <laughs> Delish. Some of that and one of these. Can't forget this. Okay, I think we got this under control now. Behold, Meatropolis, a meat for every season. Now let's construct this pizza. Let's give it a really strong foundation. Gotta make sure you use a lot of different building materials. Otherwise, how is it gonna grow up to be big and strong? After all, what if there are intruders? Like, uh, the vegetables. And let's make sure to give it a nice gorgonzola moat and a nice prosciutto drawbridge. What? Huh, you know, on further inspection, it's definitely more like a fortress with like a tongue. <laughs> but I am glad that these... What am I watching? What am I watching? What am I watching? I am in absolute pain right now. These walls are definitely holding in our meat menagerie. Oh, you know what we're missing too? Almost forgot about shrimp. Technically a meat as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, that was ultra pleasant. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just nakedly hanging out in the saws. And one in the middle. Just as a nice surprise. Oh, God. <laughs> nummy, nummy, num. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Come here, meat explosion. Let's see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That cheese mode really came together, didn't it? And look. It just looks like the meat fucking coomed. <laughs> it just cooped so hard. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That cheese mode really came together, didn't it? And let's give it a little sprig of parsley, you know, for presentation. <laughs> right on the edge of the tongue. <laughs> now, just to review, they wanted a pizza with Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, some ground beef, and red onion. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they're hoping for. So let's not keep them waiting. Orders up. Yeah, it's for the beef house that you ordered an, an hour, hour? <laughs> six minutes ago. And off it goes into outer space. And overall, they're still pretty charitable. Like, sure, I apparently gave them them too big of a pizza or whatever and they commented that the sauce wasn't exactly what they were expecting what about ingredients were you okay with those <laughs> oh what you didn't like any of those not even the shrimp well i never okay for this next one cheeses well now you're speaking my language if my language was disappointment only three cheeses i got a better idea how about we get rid of all these room temperature meats and let's make you a real cheese pizza excuse me cheeses pizza that's right into the food processor <laughs> yep just get it all in there no. delish and i can only imagine that it has the sludgy consistency of paint now if cheese sauce it's just cheese sauce it's just Fucking hell. Oh, hell. Are any of you in pain at all? I know it's just a game, but it is funny. But it's like, I'm having a great laugh, but I'm also in pain. <laughs> oh.
I'm here for you, Chris. So <laughs> that's cute. If you look at all these cheeses, they tell an interesting story. And by that, I mean the icons show that they can be both graded and- <laughs> Don't intolerance death sentence. I've gotten used to it. <laughs> Just another thing. <laughs> Slice. So boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of work ahead of us. As I drunkenly miss my own basket. Okay. Now we just need to turn this into this. We're talking 12 different kinds of sliced cheeses and an additional 10 that are grated. Now you might be wondering, Josh, what makes this different than the meat one? You're just doing the same thing, but with cheese. An insanely aggressive amount of cheese. And while that's true, it is still pizza after all. I do still have a couple innovations we're gonna try out on these pizzas. Do you think I got it? I can't really tell. Now, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is use something nice and visible, like this vibrant cheddar. And we're gonna make a nice little concerned face. And into the oven it goes. Now, we're not done. I need you to have faith here. After we let it hang out in there for a little while, we pull it back out. Ah, good. It looks like a mushroom. <laughs> it looks like a... <laughs> I know he said it looks like a mushroom, but this looks like a fucking nuke. Like, there's a nuclear bomb just happened somewhere on Earth. <laughs> it's a nuke pizza. <laughs> it looks like a fucking nuke. Trim cloud. And now we just give it a nice border of mozzarella, followed by another eye, a nose, and a slightly unhappy looking mouth. And scoop it up. In it goes. It's subtle, but it's there. Not like it matters, because we're going to cover it in ricotta now. I think you can see where this is going, right? Put it in. Pull it out. Put it back down. Generous. <laughs> cheese cool. It's cheese cool. Firstly, add some gorgonzola and rinse and repeat, alternating the type of cheese you use every time. God knows what this is supposed to be. Ah, uh, yes, that's how I like my shredded cheddar, like a haircut that went wrong. Or even better is when the pizza <laughs> toppings have that Thanos snap look. <laughs> To him. I also feel like every time I put the pizza back in the oven, it's having a little bit more of a problem. It's all part, FPS. part of the plan, though. <laughs> and before you know it, once the frame rate allows it, the pizza is ready. Look at that, still smiling after all this time. It's so tall and thick with cheese at this point that when I put it down, the pizza peel gets stuck on it. I call this my three times three times three cooked pizza. And if you're wondering where the name comes from, it's because it's been in and out of the oven 27 times. And totally- Like those intolerant people, current objectives survive. Yeah, <laughs> look at all those cheese. Wait, 1.2 kilograms of blue cheese? 7 kilograms of mozzarella. <laughs> what the fuck? Totaling up all the ingredients, this pizza has 27.5 kilograms of cheese on it, which is 60 glorious pounds. But before we send this beauty out, we're gonna give it one final flame kiss. Ah, it's perfect. Like a smiley balloon in the middle of being on fire. You know, maybe I'll give it a little bit more. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what the God. I didn't think it could get worse, but here we are. Come on, Nightmare Pie. This guy's only been waiting 53 minutes for this one. Oh my god, what's happening to it as it flies away? That's not a pizza. That's not even from this planet. Ah, see, that's more like it. <laughs> Solid X's across the board. Okay, look, I get it that they're unhappy that the pizza was burnt, and that the sauce was burned, and that the cheese was burned, and that the time was apparent. Gone from nuke to nuke victim. <laughs> burned. But why did I get marks down on the thyme leaf and dillweed for that? I didn't even put these on the pizza. Okay, fine. We're gonna do one more pizza. And I realize this person thinks they're getting a fairly normal pizza with marinara sauce and mozzarella and all that stuff. But it's Josh's arts and crafts time now. So we're gonna make our own special pizza and they're just gonna have to like it. The first thing I need is some artistic inspiration. And by that I mean I'd love to see a little splash of color. Like maybe a little red wine vinegar. Yes, that's the stuff. Oh, I wonder if peanut butter is any good too. All the gross <laughs> Colors of the rainbow. Well, give me a second. Time to make the place beautiful. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Splash of color. I mean, it's a little less like I got our.
artistic inspiration and more like I created a kill room out of Saw. What I'm trying to say is while I walk through all this glass and trail blood down into the cellar, I am inspired. Okay, so we're gonna make a pizza with all the unsung heroes of the pizza world. I'm talking sweet corn and chickpeas, black beans, not just canned capers, but caper berries. And what's this over here trying to hide from me? Hazelnuts. My go-to ingredient for pizza. Just like Gordon Ramsay always says, the best pizza comes out of little cylindrical jars and cans slowly pulsing in a picnic basket. Come, serial killer kitchen. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> I feel like every episode of this game, I'm picking up crap off the ground, surrounded entirely by danger and chaos. Help me out, Jug. Help me clear some sp space. Nah, well, good enough. On you go. I'm so pumped. There's just so much delicious stuff here. Oh, this is not at all what I was expecting when I ground up all those caper berries. And I believe the rest of these cans, looking at you, sweet corn. No slicing required. <laughs> mm. We got some other things we haven't touched yet, like mussels, which we're gonna prepare down here in, like, the shadiest possible way. Like something the manager told us to do without anyone seeing us. Okay, look, I know that this is a game for all sorts of people, but who is putting boiled broccoli? on pizza. We are, that's who. You know, <laughs> hear me out. I know this is just a game. I know he's having fun. I know you guys warned me, but I know what I signed up for. And I have to say, for the first time in my life, when it comes to video games, or watching a Let's Play, my heart is broken. My heart is shattered to pizza. You don't put fucking broccolis on pizza! Okay, now let's delicately knock this over and get everything into the basket. Come on, come on. A plus, totally worked. Mmm, more floor ingredients. Oh yeah, this is definitely the ultimate pizza. Oh my god, it's so healthy looking. We're missing the sauce though, but I have an idea. And it starts with marsh and ends with mellow. Marshmallow sauce? How is... You know what, I, I don't question anymore. In you go, or I could partially miss. Either way works for me. I guess this is his version of a healthy dessert, I suppose. <laughs> Just a healthy dessert. Marshmallows with veggies. Oh my fucking god, what am I watching? <laughs> um, so gonna shit breaks tonight. Should I add something else? Is that kind of bland? You know, you're right. I should add Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic. You know what they say, don't let your dreams stay dreams. Ah, yes. As the light hits it, it feels like it's pulled right out of a horror movie. Okay. Okay, time to begin. We start with our beautiful homemade sauce. Just to get your mind off the idea that this looks like a cross-section of someone's body, there's marshmallows in there. And that's when we do a dash of squid, and then go ahead and spell the word Y in mussels, <laughs> and maybe use the tuna, spell something so other people at the table can read it, and then just so it's not too obvious, a shower of beans and capers. Make sure to cluster all the broccoli together that it looks like it's one big head. Yep, that's what it looks like. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but from the side, it's actually sort of pretty look- <laughs> It's pretty look looking. Honestly, it looks like nature, but <laughs> it, it's not pretty when you see the word help. <laughs> looking. It's like you're on a beach in hell. Oh, and let's make sure to top it off with a little bit of parsley. Okay, we'll go ahead and just start stacking it. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can tell what's happening here, but the more I add, the closer it's getting to our face. Oh, wow, this parsley is really stackable, isn't it? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> New garnishes were so versatile.
<laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Got him. I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we gave it a parsley unicorn horn, which, by the way, is completely rock solid, I think it's about time to serve. No time for baking. This needs to go out now. Besides, why would we want to ruin the natural- <gasps> Oh god, is it okay? I was just trying to throw the shovel thingy. Wait, hang on, that might have been for the better. I think I've learned something else you can do with this stacking method, which I think you can make kind of like a little funnel thing. It turns into like a parsley tornado. You know, why does everything end up oh looking like a nightmare? This isn't my fault. It's the parsley's fault. All two kilograms of it. Ah, beautiful. Quite the centerpiece for my monstrosity. Well, I think it's time to serve this masterpiece, just like the last one. Beautifully raw. Okay, let's put... <laughs> what just happened? Wait. Okay, the game is freezing entirely now. <laughs> just fucking breaks. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. That's not ideal either. Okay, pizza, I need you to behave. Let's just get you situ- No, 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 no. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to wait another second for your pizza. Okay, we're just gonna take this plate, and we're just gonna rest it right here. Pick my collage off the ground. Okay, just put it right there. Easy. Okay, this is the moment. This is the moment. Get it out! Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. <laughs> Look, that's not entirely my fault. I know you waited a long time for what turned out to be an empty plate, but I will not apologize <laughs> for my art. Come on, crazy pizza. Let's go be somewhere where- Where the chef decides to do a little trolling. <laughs> Wait for an hour and a half for an empty plate. <laughs> for a pr and the chef is like, look, I've eaten it for you. <laughs> Appreciated. And that's what I'm gonna use a glitch I found. Where if I open this drawer and open my phone at the same time, I am now in the drawer. And when I come back, I've climbed up on the countertops. Time to get out of here. And of course, because we're not supposed to be out here, everything is a little odd. But I'm not gonna let that stop me and pizza from living our lives. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. Pizza and I are gonna <laughs> see what's over on this other island, and I'll see you next time. That was a good video, but I have to say, I think looking at this just brought me so much pain. Sometimes I feel like it, it's a mistake, but it's a good kind of mistake.